Do you want to print gold in Guild Wars 2? Well, all you have to do is follow those simple steps and do them over and over on a daily basis and you can be looking at 50 gold per day. Oh my god! As you can see in this sheet, this is a list of items that I got by running all the tasks that you will see in this video and it took me a total of 1 hour and 45 minutes to complete. So if you have this much time per day, this is what you guys could be looking at. As you can see, I ended up with 50.8 gold from the tasks that I will mention in this video. Be careful though, because doing all the tasks every day for so many days in a row can become overwhelming and could probably cause burnout. So either pick a few from the list and stick to that routine or watch till the end of the video because I will be sharing my own daily routine and you guys could probably do the same thing. I also won't be mentioning things that will require a properly organized group to get, like uh, strikes for example, but rather I will be listing things like fractals where finding a group is fairly simple. Okay, starting off with number one is daily wizard's vault. Now that we have five objectives and we should only complete four out of the five, we have a bit more flexibility when it comes to completing the daily wizard's vault. So go ahead, do those and get your first one gold for the day. This is very important as you can also use the astral acclaim you get from the dailies and weeklies for that matter to get rewards worth a good chunk of gold from the wizard's vault. All right. Dragonstorm is an event that happens every two hours and can be accessed from Eye of the North. Completing this event will give you two gold flat and six memories of Orin, which can be sold in the marketplace for around 1.5 to 2 gold. And you will also get some loot that you can still sell and make some profit out of. While still in Eye of the North, just like Dragonstorm, you have the Twisted Marionette that happens just one hour later. It can be accessed from the same place in Eye of the North and will also give you some loot that can be worth 2 gold and another 2 gold flat. Okay, Tukatl is the boss that spawns south of Sparklife Fen. By killing this ugly dragon, you will make 1 gold flat and get a bunch of other loot. As this boss spawns in different timings, you can check out the time that he spawns on either the wiki or xguiders.com. I will leave a link to that in the description below. You can also craft the daily time-gated ascended material that are Spool of Thick Olonian Cord, Globe of Elder Spirit Residue, Lump of Mithrilium, and Spool of Silk Weaving Thread. If you have the additional resources, you can also craft the sellable items like Spiritwood Plank, Elonian Leatherwood Square, Deldrimor Steel Ingot, and Bolt of the Mask. With that, you can make around 12 gold per day just from selling those. If you don't have the necessary resources though, then just hoard the initial items or use them to get provisioner tokens if you need this currency for legendary runes, sigils, or the new obsidian armor. Now one thing to note is that you should always charge 25 quartz crystal to create a charged quartz. The way this works is all you have to do is simply take 25 quartz crystal to a place of power on a daily basis. This item is not a direct source of gold, but it is extremely useful to do daily as you can use it to craft different items that will give you a decent gold return on the long haul. Okay, if you have 150 agony resistance and maybe 30 to 45 minutes to spare, then consider doing Fractals of the Mists. You don't have to complete the challenge mode, just do normal tier 4, and if you have even more time to spare, consider doing the recommended daily Fractals. By doing all three, you can potentially make between 15 to 20 gold per day. Okay, so the next method would be daily gathering. Now, this method will take you to places all over Tyria, and you will mostly be mining rich iron ore and platinum veins, chopping seasoned wood log and hardwood log, you will also be harvesting flax, but this step can be skipped if you don't have the expansions or the living world seasons. What you need to do is go to Guild Wars 2 Efficiency, look up Gathering and check Iron, Platinum and Flax only. And while you are doing these runs, chop any wood that you find on your way towards the veins. I will also leave a link to that in the description below. This is something that I usually do on a daily basis and it takes me around 20 minutes. I would end up making 10 gold off of this method if I sell the resources directly, but saving them for the future to craft something with them is even better. The next step, if you manage to find someone who is offering to share their home instance loot with you, then consider joining them. Usually people promote this in the group finder under Central Tyria. Join them and loot everything in their home instance, but make sure to only join a full instance as you will make the most profit off of this one. If you have your own home instance, well, then, anyway, 
by collecting an entire home instance, you can be looking at two to four gold with only 10 minutes of work. Okay, so if you come across Blood Tide Coast, why don't you try doing Triple Trouble? Even though this is something that I personally don't do on a daily basis, but with the 15 minutes that it takes and the two gold that you can get off of it, this is not a bad thing to do. All the above will take you around an hour and 30 minutes and net you with about 50 gold. Now, obviously, there are so many more things that you can do, like the daily Echo Vault Wilds Jade Rune Stones, a jumping puzzle parking, and much, much more. But I don't want to turn this video into a 30 minute one and just keep it simple. I will, however, mention a few more weekly things that you can do slowly throughout the week. You should definitely do the weekly Wizards Vault objectives for 500 plus Astral Acclaim per week. Also, consider doing the weekly End of Dragon Strikes. This will net you between 12 to 16 gold. If you already have Secrets of the Obscure, then consider doing the weekly Rift Hunting achievements for the Essence. If you don't plan on crafting the Legendary Obsidian Armor, then you can craft Motivations and sell them for a decent amount of gold at the trading post. If you're not sure how, check out this video. I will leave a link to it in the description below. Okay, now on to my daily routine. From the list, I would usually start off with the daily wizard's vault, craft ascended material, and then do the charged quartz. If the time is right, I would do dragon storm or the twisted marionette, depending on which one comes first. And in the one hour wait time between both, I would be doing fractals. After finishing all these, I'll do the gathering and home instance. And if I feel like it, I do triple trouble or tocotl, but not both, cause lazy. After that, since I'm creating content for Guild Wars 2, I'd start doing some research for a topic that would bring some value to you guys, and maybe then do some random shenanigans for one more hour before I pass out. I personally play 3-4 to four hours per day, and I have enough time to do those activities and more. So if you guys have a few hours per day only, try not to use all of these methods, but pick a few and try to always enjoy the game with different things that you like. Anyway, I would like to hear your daily routine and how you guys manage your day while playing The Doors 2. So go ahead. Leave it down in the comments below and if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button as it would help me a lot okay i'll see you guys in the next one uh, peace